And Jesus is saying to us, be ready for you know not what hour, my Lord come. You know, you know not what hour your Lord come. So today, if you're here, and you're not a Christian, and you came here and you've been going, yeah, yeah, them Christians, not the hypocrite, yeah, well, not church. You don't know Jesus. It's because of all the hypocrisy. Because if you would have seen five real Christians that were really shining the light, nine out of ten chances you'd become a Christian. If the world out there could really see a blazing church, people would be, they're so thirsty, they're so hungry, they can run into the door. But I want to tell you, you know what? I hear Christians all the time excusing themselves for not being spiritual by going, oh, don't keep your eyes on us. Put your eyes on Jesus. What? How are I going to see him? They don't got the eyes to see him with. They look to us to see Jesus. Jesus said, well, who do you say was the light of the world? He said he was the light of the world. Light of the world. Who else did he say was the light of the world? You are. There's a couple back there. You're the light of the world? That's what Jesus said. He said it to his disciples. Point to him and said, you're the light of the world. You're the salt of the earth. Don't hide it. The world is dying to see the light. They're dying to see the light. They're dying to see the light. They're not dying to hear my album. They're dying to see the light. They're not dying to hear a church service. They're dying to see the light. People all around are dying. Because they can't see the light. Jesus said, they're the light. How come they can't see your light? Because you're hiding your light. Because you're embarrassed to show your light. Because you're embarrassed to be called a fanatic. Because you're embarrassed to cause any trouble and rock the boat. For God's sake, change. For God's sake, change. For His glory, change. So that His kingdom will grow, change. So that your church will get a little warmer, change. Because it's really scary. I travel all over the country and I see something that all Christians have in common. They're chicken. They're not willing to die daily like Paul said, I die daily. They want to live. But Paul says in 2 Corinthians 6, we are dying, but yet we live. We have no possessions, but yet all things belong to us. We are poor, but yet we are making others rich. That's somebody rich. If you're here tonight and you don't know Jesus, I pity you. Because you don't know Jesus for the same reason that I didn't know Jesus. For five years I looked for Jesus, but all I saw was Christian. And I didn't see Jesus in me. They'd hand me a trap and tell me to turn a burn or something. They'd be too busy going to their Christian rock concert to sit and talk to me. Jehovah's Witnesses would talk to me all day. The Christians wouldn't talk to me. They're too busy making money to pay their rent and their tithes. Now listen, when you receive Jesus today, and you're going to, there's a lot of people meeting the Lord. In the last service there was 150 people accepted the Lord. Because Jesus is here. Not because I'm here. I can't do anything with that. When you accept the Lord tonight, promise God you won't be a hypocrite like the person you're sitting next to. And ask God to make them stop being a hypocrite. Ask God to stop making them that way so that your friends might receive the Lord. And their, their relatives might receive the Lord. And their teachers and their students and their neighbors. So that something will change instead of this farce that we call Christianity that's going on in the world today. No, there's Christians in here. I'm sure that a lot of you who die right now go right to heaven. I'm not saying no. But there's a dying world, sick, cancerous, hateful, bitter, hungry, thirsty. I don't know what I'm You know, I'm tired of entertaining Christians. I'm going to reach the world. I'm not just give up Christian music all day. 
You went to school in the ghetto. Okay? You go be a prison minister. Okay? Go to India. Feed people. Do something like that. People, Christian ministers going out spending, getting five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand dollars a night. Hallelujah. Brother running the state.